everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe can you say it with me y'all it's victoria's secret s-a-s -S. we finally have a date and it's june 24 okay okay <laughs> Y'all, this, this sale has been a trip trying to find out when it is. So, this video, I'm going to be sharing my tips and my wish list for this summer Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale. Now, before I finally got a confirmed date from calling the store again, my first tip was find out the date. <laughs> We know the date i'm gonna say have your budget because you know victoria's secret they they not cheap like like bath and body works we complaining well i am <laughs> you know price increase and whatnot their stuff tends to be more expensive than bath and body works so you have to have your budget and kind of know what you want because if you want the purses and the, that stuff is not cheap it's just, it's not cheap. It's, it's not five and ten dollars. You're talking about thirty dollars, and you know, for some of the handbags that's on sale. So have your budget set. Two, I heard rumors that this sale is not going to have as much product as previous sales, and that kind of worries me because Victoria's Secret for these last, I want to say five plus years on the beauty side, they haven't had a whole lot of product anyway and they don't tend to restock as much as bath and body works does for their sas so if you do nothing else i would say if you can you need to go to the store the first day of the sale and be there before it opens because they just, they usually don't have a ton. If you're shopping for beauty, they don't have a ton. And if what the rumors, if they're true, what they're saying, that this sale is not going to have as much as previous sales, then yeah, you need to be there first, okay? Number three, I would call and check for restrictions. I've been hearing from people that even before SAS, that Victoria's Secret, pink they haven't been letting a lot of people in so just call so you will know how early you need to get there unless you if you don't want to be standing in line number four i would if you're shopping online i would get up early i don't know exactly when victoria's secret sets there you know bath and body works at 6 a.m so i would say just get up as early in the morning as you can if you're shopping online and go ahead and place your order because what tends to sell out fragrances especially if it's one that people have been wanting they tend to go quickly the perfumes because sometimes they might start they usually start out higher but sometimes they might throw in a couple that's $19.99 those tend to go quickly you know if you're getting a full-size bottle of perfume for twenty dollars and they're usually i think almost six so no i think they're seventy dollars or something now then those those tend to go quickly so if you have an order if you're ordering only online get on up and place your order so you have your stuff and not be and, you, and not have it be gone because like i said they don't restock as much they might restock some, but they don't restock often for this sale. Not Victoria's Secret. Number five, Victoria's Secret, they are, like I said, they're expensive. So if you going in for a mist, you know, you can find Bath & Body Works always has something on the 75% off table for $3, $3 something. Victoria's Secret, usually their mist are four or five dollars on sale their perfume usually in store for the 1.7 i think it starts at 20 to 25 and then the 3.4 ounces 
they go 30 to 35 and that's at the beginning of the sale but if you don't want to chance like i said i can't stress this enough in my experience victoria's secret does not have a ton of stock for beauty they just don't for the past five years they they haven't so if you see a fragrance that you just love honey don't wait don't i've done this don't be like me if you can don't wait for the prices to drop because they don't lower those prices usually Victoria's Secret sale usually goes hardcore where it's on the beauty end, like two good weeks because they just run out of stuff. So you have two weeks. Get that perfume, save your receipt because two to three weeks maybe within that range, they will lower it usually to 65% off. That is the biggest discount that I have experienced from Victoria's Secret. So my advice, usually I would be like, if you can wait, wait, but with Vicky, get your stuff because it won't be there when you go back, especially the perfumes. Because once they drop to 65% and you didn't know about it ahead of time to be at that store, they gone. They're gone except the ones nobody likes. Now there'll be plenty of those, but the ones that, you know, everybody likes and it's, They'll, they'll be gone. So my advice is to get what you want from Victoria's Secret. If you can, if it's something that you will be upset about missing, get it because it will no, more than likely, more than likely won't be there when you go back and just save your receipt. And Victoria's Secret, last year I brought all the product, like Back to Body Works is making people do, you know, to make it difficult so you won't want to fool with getting a price adjustment. They just still want the receipt only. At least they did last year. That's what my store said. They said, Shut up. why'd you bring all this stuff, ma'am? <laughs> and so I thought I had to. And I said, no, they just went through, they just scanned the receipt and it comes up. That's how Bad and Body Works used to do it. So it, with Victoria's Secret, just save your receipt, go in once you, the last day that you can, see if the prices have been lowered, go ahead and get your price adjusted. Okay, number six. All of the collections from this year, the spring, summer, um, maybe some of the winter if they didn't sell, all of that should be on sale. And the, they're probably in store now. If you can, go in, try them out, see which ones you want. If you can't go in, look online, pick out the ones you think sound like something that you would like so go ahead and make your list of the guaranteed items that we know should be on sale okay number seven the seasonal perfumes like the bombshell summer that one should be on sale if that's something you like i don't tend to i haven't liked any of the bombshell summer perfumes i wish they would bring back well i'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about that later but if that's one that you like, more than likely, that's going to be on sale. And usually those tend to go quickly. So I would get there and go ahead and get it if that's one that's on your list. Okay, my eighth and final tip for this Victoria's Secret sale. In my experience, it usually doesn't pay off to visit a ton, you know, multiple stores like Bath and Body Works. I've done it. And it's the same stuff. <laughs> usually it is. It is rare, super rare, that I have found something at one Victoria's Secret store that I didn't see at another. Like I might find a piece. Like let's say this this is one thing I really want. I might go to one store and they have all the fragrance mist and I might go to the other store and they might have all the lotion or it might not have anything. So it is exhausting, especially in this heat. Like I've done it for Bath and Body Works. It was fun, you know, and everything, but it is tiring. So 
with Victoria's Secret, and like, I'm not going to five. I'm, I'm just not doing it because I've done it before or more, and it hasn't paid off. I would say, <sighs> pick the one, go to two or three. Two or three for Victoria's Secret, because usually what happens with their SAS, if I can't find it in store, usually it will be online. Now it might, sometimes it's a little bit more expensive, but sometimes with Victoria's Secret, probably because their shipping can be a trip, it's a little bit cheaper than in the store. So you just have to pay attention to that. So know your Victoria's Secret, the one that usually has, you know, a pretty good stock of the beauty items, especially if that's what you're going for predominantly like me then pick that store and then just and go there first and then have, you know, a couple more that you might want to check out. Now, what I will say, if you have an outlet, I would go to the store first, but I would definitely make a trip to your outlet during this semi-annual sale because if you go to the store and you might not find a lot, let's say, You've already bought all the collections that come out this year, and that's predominantly what's on sale. They don't tend to bring back a ton of former fragrances. Sometimes you'll see a couple here and there, but they don't tend to, at least not in these last few years. So you go to the outlet and you'll find more of the discontent. Like the outlet, you might would find um, vanilla dust. This probably won't be in a store. Maybe you might, you know, you might find one and be like, huh, ah, but usually you don't, at, at least lately, like I've said. So if you go to an outlet, you may find collections from the fall, collections from the winter. And usually the mist and lotions and things are cheaper at the outlet than at the SAS, at the regular store. So I would highly recommend if you have an outlet by you, go to an outlet during SAS. So those are all my tips for this upcoming semi-annual sale at Victoria's Secret. Now let's go on into my wish list. So I want to get some handbags. I love their handbags. I love their little crossbody bags. So that's on my list. I love their little small wallets, especially their little card case wallets. I might want, I don't have one in black, so I might want one, I want one in black if it's on sale. They have a wrap body towel. If I can figure out if it will fit my plus size body, I would want one of those because it's so cute. And some items I'm gonna mention right here. I'm checking my list, you all. These are items that I haven't seen. I've missed out on. I really want them to come back. I really do. And that's why I plan to go to the outlet. I have to limit myself because that outlet that we have, I love that Victoria's Secret outlet. And I go in there and I lose my mind. And you know, so I said the only time I'm going, I'm going to go during the SAS sales or if you know let's say i use up a, a bunch of stuff and i say oh i'm gonna go to the outlet but i, I just can't go all the time because i i'd be destitute i'd be out on the street with some body mist saying you know that's all i got <laughs> because i love victoria's secret outlet it is so good so i'm hoping i can find this fearless perfume i'm gonna have a picture up this perfume living ash says she just loves it and i was watching the video with her boyfriend and he gave that a five that was the top uh top rated i really want to smell it i can't even remember if i've ever smelled that one before so i would love to see that perfume come back or see an outlet somewhere that's one of the hidden treasures i'm looking for also this is a perfume i loved and I think it was sexy little thing summer you know how they always come out with bombshell summer and I haven't liked not one of them this was a sexy little thing summer that was the muskiest fruitiest prettiest perfume I loved it 
I wish they would bring that one back. Also, Cake Confetti. I want it back. I've used up the fra the lotion. I never could find the fragrance mist. I want it back so badly. And Cherry Pop. I had the lotion. I used it up. Uh, that's what made me start liking cherry scents again because I like moved on from cherry and then cherry pop I was like this is so pretty I want that in a mist so badly so those four things those are ones that are like hidden treasured gold that if I saw them I would just be so happy so on to what is on their website now the radiant collection I haven't smelled anything, so I'm not going to put up all these mists. I'm going to put up one. And the one that I'm really interested in is the Velvet Petals. I think that's the Kiwi Watermelon. I just want to see if they've changed it up from their other Watermelon Kiwi they did. So I want to try out everything from the Radiant line, but that's the main one I have my focus on. Um, the other line that I really think I'm going to love everything and that, that's what I'm most excited to smell in the fragrance mist are the Alluring Water Collection. And the one I don't hear as much about, I hear about the Agave Nectar or something, but I want to really smell the Floating Neroli. I'm so interested in that, you know, because Neroli is what you see in fragrances. You don't have too many mists that say have neroli like this one has neroli and i love it so i really want to smell the floating neroli also the private island collection the one i can't wait to get my nose on is hot florals I think that is going to smell, I just feel like it's going to smell so, so good. Now, I want to smell them all, but that's the one I'm really excited about. And also the Serene Escape Collection. That came out, I think, right after the winter SAS. And I was like, I'm done. I've spent enough money, uh, Victoria's Secret. No, you're going to have to wait. <laughs> so, I want to smell that whole collection. And, um... The one that I want to smell the most is Horizon in Bloom. The pack, I remember vaguely smelling that because it was out during the SAS or I was in there doing a price adjustment or something. But sometimes after you smell so much, I, it well, it was full of price too. So it didn't make me want to pull out my wallet. So I want to smell it now if it's on sale. And from the La Creme line, I want to give Pure Seduction another sniff. I remember smelling it in store and not liking it. Because I rem if I remember, it was supposed to be caramel apple and something, and I didn't get what I thought I was going to get. But Jasmine Buller loves that one, so I want to just sniff it again to be sure if it's even on sale. That collection wasn't on sale in the winter i don't know if they're making that part of their signature line or not because it has not been on sale and also from the la creme line i want to get velvet petals because that's another one i passed on but that was a day i was smelling a lot and i was like i i didn't dislike it like i remember disliking pure seduction la creme but velvet petals la creme i just remember not being blown away so i just want to re-sniff them and see if i actually like them now and from the pink line y'all i was looking through all the mist and i have so many fragrance mists now since especially i had a big collection before starting my channel but after starting this channel and reviewing and getting things to review I don't think that uh, the only one I saw of a mist, I want to see how it smells, is that passion fruit punch or something. But the only thing that I actually have down on my list from pink, I would like that water scrub with the hyaluronic acid because Bath and Body Works, I, if I, I thought they had it on their app saying that the water line was coming back. I thought it was going to be for SAS. Maybe it'll be out later on. I don't know. But I did, I missed out on that scrub at the winter SAS for that line. So I want to get it from pink if it's on sale. 
So y'all, those are my tips. Those are my tricks. That's my wish list. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below telling me what you want to pick up from the Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale because it's just fun to talk in the comments. Little girl talk. Please share this video with everyone who loves Victoria's Secret and who loves a good sale. And please turn on your notification bell so you won't ever miss a video of mine, but especially the haul that is coming from Victoria's Secret, okay? And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.